What up, everybody? Welcome back to another hunting video. I was told with the grapevine that there's actually a few sales going on, so let's let's check it out, see if they got anything cool. Uh, it's a Friday in the mall. I was told there's a few Arrow video box sets on sale, so I'm gonna try that out. Hopefully, I can at least get that Donnie Darko 4K box set because I love Donnie Darko. I watched it for the first time. I think it was on sale on iTunes. I absolutely love that movie, so hopefully, I can get the physical box set. Instead of that cape case version, because I don't really care for that, but let's check it out, see what we can see. Boom, Cinema One. Let's try to see what we can find. Okay, uh, update. It wasn't Cinema One, it was Sunrise Records that was having the sale. I was like asking, like, what? This can't be possible. But no, then I looked at the sign that my friend Alex sent me, and that's from Sunrise Records, so yeah. Oh. So yeah, it was actually Sunrise Records. Nice. This is what I drove all the way for but it's not correct it's Kino and Arrow I don't even think they have any Arrow I mean Kino Lorber stuff They actually have some uh, Kino stuff that come out to like $30, $32, so I'm thinking of picking it up. I don't know, there's a sale coming soon, but I don't know if I'd get them with the slip. I'm very particular, so. But so far, pretty good stack. All right, we got the bag. It was Sunrise Records, not Cinema One. So now we're gonna go out and see them one, see if there's anything cool. So yeah, let's go. So we got a 4K sale here. It's a lot of the, um, Marvel stuff. Okay, I didn't actually end up spending anything at Cinema One, so I thought might as well. It's right here. Might as well check out the local spots. You never know. I actually found a few ten dollar, eleven dollar four Ks here, so. Maybe we'll find something interesting. I see a few people there, so maybe we'll be out of luck. But who knows? <laughs> okay, everyone sold these. These are ten dollars at Walmart. That's why I sell people. This isn't 4K. This is beautiful. I shaved my beard. Uh, we're here at another location. Uh, this, this mall has a Sunrise Records too. They're slowly getting rid of their Sunrise Records for some reason. I don't know. It's like uh, it's a dying industry when it comes to those big box stores unless you got the Walmarts and stuff like that. Even Best Buy is, they don't really care. But we're here. Air Mills Counselor. There's another Sunrise Records here. Hopefully we find something cool. Oh, I forgot to get something. But anyways, I want to hopefully they have the thing I'm looking for. Because that'd be nice. And it's 25% off, which is cheaper than importing it from the US or from getting it from a store because usually they charge a lot for the shipping, so. All right, here we are, Sunrise Records. Hopefully we can find something cool. This is going to switch it out.
sale. They don't have the sale price on it, but they... Oh, there's the DVD that I'm... I know Arrow still makes DVDs. It's interesting. See, I almost picked this up yesterday, but this is a Blu-ray now of 4K. I'm actually looking for a few, but I know there's going to be a sale soon. I'd probably only get it if I could find with a slip cover. If not, then a... Uh... Yes. Looking for... Oh, they have it. The 4K here as well. This is cheap. 32. Oh, this is the blue right now. Never mind. That's the 4K. That's the same cover. Yeah. Looking for the long, the long goodbye. Um, the Thomas, the tie that binds, and take the Taylor Soldier, Trilogy of Terror 2, Trilogy of Terror 2. But no, no, the long goodbye, it's, it's my last. Robert Altman, Old Stone. This is pretty cool. Parasite. But I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything cool. There's a sub one, 25% off. Maybe look at some of the arrow stuff. Nice. We're here at the Bramley Center, because not only do they have another Sunrise Records, but they also have Best Buy. When was the last time I went to a Best Buy? I don't even know. Best Buy got rid of all their stuff. Can we that? All the cool stuff is gone. So let's check it out. So like Best Buy, other Best Buys, this used to be the physical media section. Now it's just designated to one wall, which is this. Yeah, move the whole. Planes, trains for twenty-four. Sonic Two, Moonfall is forty dollars. This is forty dollars without the slip. A quiet place. Nice. They got the 4K collection of uh, for hundred dollars. Pretty cool on this side. It's got Bullet Train, Top Gun. I don't know. I haven't been able to see Top Gun Maverick in the wild after its release, initial release. I mean, I know it's fantastic, but I can't find it anywhere. But they had it for twenty dollars. Oh, that's a DVD. Anyways, that was this Best Buy. Let's go out and check out Sunrise Records. All right, here we are. Sunrise Records, twenty-five percent off. Hope we can find something cool the Aero and Kino sale. Let's go. Yes, this isn't on sale, but I heard good things about this. Let's check out their Aero sale. So this is their normal 4K section, which we'll probably find what we're looking for, but we can check around. Clearance. A deal. Sometimes they have good things like I remember last time I came here they had a copy of The Shining with the slip cover, but again it was like 40 bucks, so it's like oh got much for a slip cover. Yeah well, I would have one day. Yeah, shop factory stuff, red dawn. Jojo Rabbit. Oh and also this. Some of these have cases, some of these don't. Window, 20 bucks, that's not bad. We got the first Kino Lover of the day, Misery, 25% off, but no. I'll have to probably have to do a deeper look. This would also be 25% off, it's pitch black on 4K. I'm keeping an eye out for those collector's editions and those box sets. Got the Bullet Train 4K Steelbook. Very nice. Oh, I've never seen this in the wild. The Bram Stoker's Dracula 4K. I still use the same artwork, just in Steelbook form. Okay. 
This is the slipcover version. I might pick this up because I mainly wanted to get this. This and uh, maybe the uh, American Wolf in London or something like that, the Arrow 4Ks. I'm dumb, I found the arrow section. I'm seeing a lot of four. Oh, you got Touch of Evil. Whoa, $65. That's insane. I was looking for more of these kind of things, but it's just a standard Blu ray. The 12 Monkeys. This is a standard Blu ray 4K. I mean, a standard Blu ray steelbook. The Changeling. So I got some of these. Very nice. These are 25% off. So some of these are worth it, they're like 50 bucks after Tenebrae, Deep Red, and the Robocop 4K. I just got the standard version. It stings a bit, but whatever. I'm not gonna double dip on it just because I already, because it comes with a box set maybe. These 4K, these are just standard Blu-rays. They do have the 4K for Hills of Eyes. But honestly, I watched this last year. Wasn't the biggest fan, so I'll probably skip on that. We got the Severin, is this a 4K? I don't even know. No, it's just a Blu-ray. Now here's the Kino Lorber section. I already find something. Some like it hot. I've heard good things. I heard this is like Marilyn Monroe's best film. So, Marilyn Monroe. I'm dedicated to getting every every 4K from this. I got this. Oh, it's just actually cheaper than Cinema One with the sale. Looking for the long goodbye. If it get, comes with a slipcover, that's great. If not, then uh, Probably for the actual sale. Pasolini. Nice. This is a vinegar syndrome. I don't know why this is doing here. Very nice. It's hard to come by these slip covers. I got the Blu ray for Touch of Evil the same price as the 4k which is crazy good times <laughs> half they released half baked on kino lorber that's that's hilarious actually i'm gonna look around see anything cool 20 dollars woody harrelson wow there's some interesting movies on the kino lorber catalog all oh, these are all stacked now i gotta look at all these anyways yeah. Okay, we are back. Uh, got a nice old reusable, reusable, recyclable, sustainable <laughs> uh, paper bag because here in Canada, or at least here in Ontario, it's illegal. Single use plastic is illegal. Uh, things like straws, things like plastic bags are now illegal to use in commerce or to not commerce, but to buy or whatever. I don't know. I still have, you know, single use plastics for other things that I buy from Amazon, or whatever, but. Apparently for storefronts and for shops, no more plastic bags. So I decided to be a responsible um, tree hugger and buy a, 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 a plastic, not plastic, a paper bag. So yeah, 25% uh, off Kino Lorber and Aero Video titles, both Blu-ray and 4K. I didn't even know this sale was going on. They didn't even post it on their social medias. My buddy over at Cinema Inspired, Alex, told me, Hey man, you, you're telling me that you wanted the uh, the certain box set and they finally have it here and it's on sale. Hey, don't you, do you want it? And I'm like, hell yeah. So literally that day, the day of, or the day after, booted it all the way to Hamilton just to pick it up and very happy. Got a few things, got a bunch of Kino Lorber 4Ks because my mission, like, like Mr. Nichols, how he's picking up all of the Shout Factory or Scream Factory 4Ks, I'm picking up all of the Kino Lorber 4Ks. So... I think after this haul, I only have to collect, let's see, let's look at the, the notes. Wow, okay. All I have to pick up now are two Kino Lorber 4Ks, that's Mystery Men and uh, In the Heat, not In the Heat of the Night, but uh, Mystery Men and Out of Sight. I'll probably pick those up during the Kino sale, but again, if I saw a four Kino 4K that I don't have that came with a slip, I'm gonna snag it because sometimes uh, you order from Kino, you order from a uh, third party seller and they don't come with the slip cover, even though it shows it having a slip cover. But Kino is pretty good when it comes to that things because it'll show you the product photo. If it comes with a slip cover, it'll show a product of it. But if it doesn't come with a slip cover, it'll just have that kind of case kind of uh, thing to it. So anyways, 
got me about one, two, three, four, five, six titles. Let me show you what I picked up, starting off with the Arrow stuff, because I only picked up two of them. Uh, one box set, one normal limited edition slip cover because, I don't know, these um, these Aero stuff are hard to come by with the slip covers here in Canada. You know, the second location for Sunrise Records, they had a lot of Dario Argento stuff. It's just, I'm not the biggest fan of Dario Argento. I'm not the biggest fan of Italian horror. Um, just my per personal preference, so I didn't pick those up. But they had some pretty decent deals, like I think $35, $32 for... Uh, deep red on 4k for the big box so that was pretty cool it's just i wasn't the biggest fan they had robocop for 70 so it would have been what 50 something which i'm kicking myself over because i, I got the normal version that didn't even come with a slip cover i made my own slip cover for it got two pickups here starting off with is flash gordon on 4k blu-ray um I only got this, I actually literally just picked this up on Blu-ray a month ago or a few months ago, but it was on sale, I think it was like 40 something, with the slipcover in 4K, mainly got this for your boy, Max von Sydow, so I still haven't even watched the Blu-ray that I bought, but on sale, with the actual slipcover, I had to pick it up, you can't really pass up on those deals, even though it's not the greatest deal, but for a boutique release, for things that cost a lot of money, Aero, Aero Video 4Ks are extremely expensive here in Canada, I don't know why, that, those and Vinegar Syndromes, picked up Flash Gordon, I really like the artwork on the slipcover, one of my favorite, uh, and again, Max von Sydow and Ingmar Bergman, uh, regular, so I had to pick it up. Aero Video, Flash Gordon, goodness. And then a pickup that I actually bought on iTunes when they were doing that, like I think it was like $2.99 on iTunes. So I picked up the 4K with uh, that kind of stuff. But then I noticed that they had the box set actually. So I picked up the Aero Video for Donnie Darko, the nice box set. Got this for, I think 50 bucks. Uh, so that was pretty cool. It was a lot cheaper than buying it through the 50% off sale through uh, through uh, Aero Video because they do ship it from the U.S. So it will be a lot more expensive, plus taxes and all that stuff. It came to seventy dollars for if I wanted to get it from Aero Video, but this I think costed me I think fifty five or something like that. So pretty good deal. Pretty good deal. Uh, it came with all of the stuff too, so that's nice. I watched half of this on Amazon Prime. And I absolutely love this movie, so I haven't gotten to the, the meaty part portion of this film. But the storytelling, the writing, the cinematography was absolutely amazing. So, had to pick up the physical version of it because I love me some Jake Gyllenhaal too. So, that's also why Maggie Gyllenhaal is also in that. And it's just crazy that they're able to hire them both and they're both playing siblings. So, that camaraderie, that kind of um, chemistry they have as siblings really translates to the actual you know, filming of the movie, and it just, I just, I'm a sucker for really good dialogue, and this had fantastic dialogue, so picked it up on 4K Blu-ray box set, chunk and box set, 25% off, don't mind if I do. Now let's get into the meat and potatoes. I got here, one, two, three, four, Kino Lorber 4Ks. Uh, now these might have been a bit irresponsible purchases, but they came with the slip covers and they were a bit off. I mean, these were basically MSRP after the sale because Sunrise Records do tend to increase the prices, make it more expensive than it usually is. But for, I think it was like 32 um, before tax or 32 after tax, or I guess 32 before tax. So it was a tiny bit more expensive than MSRP, but I haven't been able to see these at the local uh, Bay Street video, which I usually get my Kino Lobers from. Those were sold out of these. So if I were able to pick them up, in person, all with slip covers, had to do it. Starting off with is a double dip. That is Mad Max. The first Mad Max. I absolutely love this slip cover artwork and it's a pretty good condition slip cover. So I had to pick it up. Even though this isn't rare, it's just, you know, for the price, it was decent. It was okay. It was worthwhile. And I'm, I'm on my mission to pick up every single Kino 4K because I just have to. I don't know. That's my now my main mission in life because... These new releases, for some of them, I, they just don't tantalize me like they used to. You know, how many Dunes, how many Batmans, how many Top Gun Mavericks are there that are coming out every month? So I decided to put my money towards these very nice, fantastic releases by Kino Lorber. So Mad Max, absolutely love this movie. I don't know if it's the same transfer, I'm pretty sure it is, uh, from the Warner Brothers, I believe, no, the MGM release that they made the big set, not, it's not a box set, but a big nice set that came with all the movies, including Fury Road. And I love that set. 
It did get recalled, but I just, I have to pick it up. It's Kino Lorber. It's a fantastic uh, artwork on the actual slip cover. I don't know if there's reversible artwork on it, but it says here $44.99, but after taxes and after the sale, it was a lot cheaper than that. So that's cool. A movie I love, a movie I know the transfer is going to look absolutely fantastic on. With a nice looking slip cover, you can't go wrong. I'm a sucker for slip covers. Next is a movie I haven't seen yet, but it was cheaper. It was, like, I think, a dollar cheaper than the other 4Ks, and that is Some Like It Hot. I'm really trying to expand my uh, viewing variety, my movie-watching variety. I've heard, I heard a lot of really good things about this. I love Tony Curtis, and I heard this is Marilyn Monroe's best film, so... I'll give it a chance. Uh, again, Kino Lorber 4K. I actually really do in, like this kind of like original 1959, 19 early 60s artwork to it. So I had to pick it up. Some like it hot. I know my friend uh, Cinema Inspired always raves about this. So Billy Wilder. Haven't really watched many of his films. They are. They are. They do feel dated in a sense. Uh, but again, it's it's that style. A lot of people like it. I'm trying to open myself towards that type of cinema because I don't want to be that kind of closed-minded where I like what I like and whatever I don't like, I'm not even going to give it a chance. I do want to give it a chance. And being that I am now on this kind of uh, mission to collect every Kino 4K, I might as well try to do it in that sort of way where I can actually, you know, I'm not going to just buy these to put them on my shelf. I'm going to actually watch these 4Ks. So Some Like It Hot comes with a, really, a lot of really good bonus features. Um, it doesn't really talk much about the transfer, but it does have documentaries for making of uh, Legacy of Some Like It Hot, uh, nostalgic look back documentary. So comes with a lot of bonus features. So I thought it was a no-brainer. Another Billy Wilder film that uh, I am more interested in watching is The Apartment on 4K Blu-ray Kino Lorber. Uh, another fantastic looking slip cover that I just had to pick up. The funny thing about this was I picked it up at, uh, at the Hamilton location and I didn't realize it but there was like a really bad like rip on the spine that had like a chunk like like a chunk of the actual artwork was removed and you could see the cardboard it wasn't very nice and especially for how expensive these are I went to another location on Aaron Mills Town Center and they were able to just replace it for me like that. They didn't even look at my receipt. I was like, hey man, I got this. It's a bit dinged up. Is it is it cool? Is it possible? Like if it's not, then it's okay. Like I don't, it's not going to kill me or whatever. But if I'm able to, I'd love to. And they're like, yeah, sure, whatever. So got the apartment on 4K Blu-ray. Really nice looking artwork. So I'm glad to add this to the collection. And the last pickup uh, is a film that my friend loves that I've seen about the first half of it. And I absolutely love it. That is Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind on 4K Blu-ray. When it first came out, I didn't really care for it, but the more I heard fantastic things, reviews for it, the actual, uh, you know, 4K, uh, 4, new 4K master, uh, color graded by the original cinematographer, Ellen Kura. So, um, yeah, um, fantastic cast too. So, you know, Jim Carrey, Kate Winslet, Kirsten Dunst, Mark Ruffalo, Elijah Wood, and Tom Wilkinson. That automatically made me want to pick it up, and for what, $32, had to pick it up. So, those were the pickups of the day of the Kino Aero sale. Again, got four Kino Lorbers, two Aero, two Aero videos? Okay, yeah, it looks like three, but two Aero video releases. So, anyways, uh, I really hope you enjoyed coming along with me hunting for some really nice physical media if you enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a like and subscribe i have been mason for the mock buster youtube channel please have yourself a good day night evening afternoon morning whenever you're watching this and until i see you guys have a good one peace out guys